welcome to this week's Arts Ignite Now video. My name is Tiffany and I'm a visual artist and I'm going to be leading us through our warm-up today. We are going to be doing something called box breathing. You can do this whenever you need a moment to reflect or a moment to check in with yourself. So our box breathing activity is going to go like this. We're going to inhale and exhale as we draw our box in the air. So let's do it all together. We're gonna take four breaths in, hold, four breaths again, exhale, breathe in for four again, hold, breathe in for four again, exhale. Now that we've warmed up a little bit and gotten in touch with our breath, we can move into our dance lesson for today. So let's get started. Hello, welcome, and it is so nice to be here with you today. My name is Shloka Ayangar. I am filming this from uh, New York City. I'm originally from India. I am a neuroscientist and a practitioner of a form of Indian classical dance known as Bharatanatyam. For today's activity, we will start with very gentle warm-ups of our entire body. I am seated on a chair. You are welcome to stand up, move, um, sit on the floor. I just happen to be sitting on a chair today. So we will start with getting some warmth into our fingers. This is a dance form that uses the fingers, the face, every single part of our bodies. And with that warmth, we'll just get that warmth onto our faces, onto the side of our neck, the other side of the neck, and to our feet as well. Bharatanatyam is a dance form that originated about 2,000 years ago in the temples of South India. And I will talk a little bit about the dance form as we go through our warm-ups. Our next warm-up can just be simple extensions of our feet. Again, feel free to do the standing, seated, um, however you want. But this dance form called Bharatanatyam has a lot of emotion, a lot of expression. And we are using our face, our hands, and our bodies to tell stories. The next warm-up we can do is point and point and point and point. <clears throat> to warm up this, our torsos or the side, sides of our bodies, we can very gently reach. We can use this opportunity to look up. In Bharatanatyam, our eyes are very powerful, are very important. So we can take this opportunity to look up as we are getting that gentle, gentle stretch on the side. The activity that I have planned for today is a combination of neuroscience and dance. The neuroscience aspect that I wanted to talk about a little bit today is that of our senses. We all know, we have heard in school, we have read in school that we have five primary senses. We have um, sight, the way we see, our smell, our taste, our touch, and the way we hear or um, auditory um, sense. However, as we know, you might have heard this and read this in school, uh, scientists think that there is another, a sixth sense, which is proprioception. So what is proprioception? Proprioception is the sense by which we know where we are in space. If my hands are out like this or in any way, how, do, how does our brain tell us that our hands are in this direction, if my elbows are up, if my elbows are down, or in whatever situation my body is. So this sensation that we have that tells our, us where our bodies are in space. And if we think of walking down the street, how our bodies, how our bodies are in relationship to somebody else. So one activity that we can do when we have time is really think of your favorite activity, which can be cooking, eating, running, dancing, and think about all the senses that are involved in that particular activity. Let's take an activity that you really enjoy to do and think of the touch. So what are you touching? What are you feeling? What are you seeing? What are you hearing? 
So for today's activity, I wanted to introduce this concept of an adavu. An adavu is a pattern of movement that we do with our hands and our feet. Today we'll be doing it seated. At a later point, uh, we can of course do everything standing or, or however you want. This particular one, there are two things that go in it. It is one is a stamp and stamp and stamp and stamp. So we can do it again. It is, we can use our hands in this position, which is just called a hasta. You might have heard the word mudra. And we can go stamp and stamp and stamp and stamp. The other uh, type of movement that we can try doing is what we just did for our warm up, which is extend back, extend and back. We will do eight of this thing. The second movement that we are adding on to this is extend and back. We will do eight of these as well. And the hands for these go again from this hasta, opening up and back, and opening up and back. We can also bend while we are doing this and bend. So the entire movement pattern looks something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we are feeling more adventurous, we can keep our feet just extend back, but we can do some interesting things with our hands. So what I had in mind for, for, for this little exercise is then we do horizontal we go up and we go down so if you wanted to use all our directions the movement pattern would look something like this. Tei ya tei. Tei ya tei. Tei ya tei. Tei ya tei. Tei yum ta ta. Tei hi ta. 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 We'll do it again so that we can do it together. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Tay, ya, tay. Tay, ya, tay. Tay, ya, tay. Tay, ya, tay. Tay, yum, ta, ta, tay, hi, ta. 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 This is our little movement pattern. Two things that we can think about. What other directions would you want to go? We can go front. We can go back. This is our time to be super creative. With our feet in this extent, we can make arch. We can do anything we want. We can go this side or this side. So that's a one point of reflection that we can think about. The second one is doing this entire thing with our eyes closed. And this will tell us the, all the senses that we use in order to dance. So I will try that. Make sure when you are doing this that you're in a safe um, physical space, that you don't slip, that you have space to, to move around or at least um, move your hands. So I will do the same thing that we just did, just with that. Just the only difference is that my eyes are going to be closed. <clears throat> One, two, three, go. Tay, ya, tay. Tay ya tay, tay ya tay, tay ya tay, tay yum ta ta tay hi ta, tay yum ta ta tay hi ta, tay yum ta ta tay hi ta, tay yum ta ta tay hi ta. For me, what was really interesting is not having any of the cues that I had when I had my eyes open. It was an interesting experience how these movements that are that seemed a very certain way when i had my eyes open seemed a bit destabilizing to me 
uh, when my eyes were closed. So I would love for you to try this at home. See, tell us what you think or what, what you felt when your eyes were open and your eyes were closed. I hope you enjoyed this activity. Uh, my name is again Shloka. What we did a little bit of today was a dance form from South India um, called Bharatanati. I hope you enjoyed it. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed today's dance lesson. For our reflection, we are going to think about three new things that we learned today. It could be something that we learned during our dance lesson, or it could be something that we learned today in general. So let's take a few seconds to think about that. Do you have your three things? Once you do, you can write them down, you can share them out loud with a friend, you could leave a comment on this video and let us know, or you can tag us at artsignite.org and let us know what you learned today and what you enjoyed from today. We would love to hear from you. That's been our Arts Ignite Now lesson for today. Thank you for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Take care and goodbye.